So I'm going to cook cauliflower mash. My friend Ralph is here visiting me from the UK. Am I looking in the lens? Yes. Okay, you can put that in, that's kind of funny. Uh, so I'm going to be cooking cauliflower mash, which is a meal I cook almost on a weekly basis. It's kind of very tasty, healthy, paleo. It's just cauliflower and coconut milk and cashews. It's really, really tasty. Uh, it's something that is really easy to do. It didn't take me long to learn. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and then you could throw it into your uh, diet mix. So I'm gonna get started. So I'm gonna start by smashing these cauliflower to pieces. <laughs> this is gonna look so strange, but this is actually how it's done. Now I'm gonna, but I'm gonna bang like crazy now, so it's gonna like freak you out. Okay, so you broke it all up. You stick it all in here. Like that. Oh, I'm getting on the floor now. So you just, so the, I'll try and, try and talk for as we go. So you just broke it up with that smashing around and then it just makes it easier so you can break up the separate bits. Uh, and then you can also take some of these leaves. Obviously you probably want to wash this cauliflower before you do this. Uh, and the leaves are quite nice because when they, they kind of turn into like potato skins, it's kind of cool. Do you want to tuck those in there? Yummy. So that's one. I'm going to do another one now. The next bit is we're going to grind up all these cashews. Again, this is this is a serving for two very hungry people. So hence why I've done two cauliflower, uh, two bits of cauliflower a whole bag of cashews and I'll also use a whole carton of um oh Jesus a whole carton <laughs> of uh, coconut milk as well and I'll put a little description with the exact recipe and ingredient there you go so you got your bowl, you put all your cashews in the bowl, like so, break them up. So obviously you need a grinder for this. Um, you might be able to get like a manual grinder, but this is kind of a cool electric grinder. So it's called a Wall of James Martin. You can grind anything up in this, it's pretty awesome. There you go. So that's that. So as you see it's all the cashew, just break up a little bit of your hands, just make sure it's not all like mashed together, like that. And then you get your coconut oil, so I've just got, it doesn't matter what one you get, but this is organic uh, coconut, not coconut oil, sorry, coconut milk even. Let's open this, oh actually first, oh, it's supposed to really shake it first, because otherwise you get this thick film at the top. But what I'm going to do, excuse me, I'm just going to grab a fork cashews all over the floor now. And I'm just gonna like, basically mush it up a little bit. <laughs> As the experts say. <laughs> Fuck's sake, this kitchen's getting so gross. I suppose that's fine. So really you can shake the can and it'll probably uh, sort this issue out and it means you don't have to do this, but I forgot to do that, so here we are. So I'm just mixing it up in there, and then you pour that in here. Yummy. And I'm just gonna like get it all out. There you go. Gonna mix it up a little bit. It's like porridge, isn't it? There you go. And then we're just gonna pour it over. I try and just do an even pour over all the cauliflower like that. And obviously it's gonna slip through the cracks of the cauliflower and soak to the bottom of the pan, which is what you want. I'm just going to get a spoon. Oops, that 
actually, uh, excuse me, I don't want to get, don't want to get coconut milk on your camera. So that, just get it all out. As you can see, like I'm not a great cook. You can see my my skills aren't that amazing, but it doesn't mean that you know I can't do this. And and this is a easy recipe that really anyone can cook, and it's kind of impressive, I think, to people, even you know, even though it's very simple. And then what I tend to do, I tend to just like move the coconut milk around in the cashews just to help it sort of soak through to the bottom. Just sort of move it around a little bit. I might even like flip it a little bit. I'm not too, I don't want it to fly out of the saucepan. But that should soak through over time. So what you find is sometimes the cashews like clump and you don't really want them to sort of clump up. So it's probably not actually been that productive to do that, but anyway. And then you put your hob on. I kind of go for like just under a medium heat um, because I find if you do this too hot, it will burn the bottom of the pan and that's not what you want. Mm -hmm. um, you learned it from this, Mr. Ralph. Mm. So we're gonna put it on just under a medium heat. So to give you context, this goes up to 12 and I'm putting it on uh, just under six, so five, like that. And then we put the lid on the saucepan and that's it. Put the fan on uh, and that's it now. We're gonna leave that for half an hour. So we're gonna come back in half an hour and then finish it up. So this has been cooking for about 30 minutes, just over 30 minutes. So you can see it's like pretty mashable, softer texture, it's all cooked quite well. Decent. I'm going to pour all of this into our mixing bowl, Ugh. like so. So I kind of messed that up because I burned the bottom a little bit, but it's not a big deal. There's a few burnt bits in there. Right. That's all in there. You want to get a shot of that? That's before I've done anything to it. And then it's just sea salt. So we've got Himalayan, or you can use Molden, or whatever you've got. Obviously, sea salt better than table salt. Bit of that in. Oh, I'm just going to use this because it's really hard to twist. <laughs> right. Go like that. And more I do and then I will put in the description to the video exactly how much you should use of all these things based on the amount of cauliflower I use but because I've done this so many times I'm just gonna kind of guess now what I feel is necessary so what you got there so this is cinnamon it's gonna put a bit of this in Not too much. Mm. and then I'm gonna put medium curry powder in Not much left in here, so I'm probably going to use pretty much all of it. It's about right, and then we're just going to mix all that in. Like so. I'm going to taste it a little bit just to make sure I've got the right amount in there. Such a pro. And that's it. So, final words. That's how you make cauliflower mash. Really simple. You don't have to be a great cook. Very, It's not fancy, but it looks fancy. Um, you don't need many ingredients. That's the finished product there. And then that's probably enough for three people. Uh, three or four people, but because we're two hungry lads, we're going to have all of that between us. So then you just serve up and then you're ready to go. And that's it.